In SCEP Sorhana, we can configure the system to transfer the statistical sales conditions into account-based profitability analysis. This was not available before, but since S4HANA 1809, we have the option to do this using predictive accounting. Statistical sales conditions are the ones that are available in the sales order, but they have no impact on the calculation of the net price. For example, the cash discount that's related to payment terms. So if the customer pays within 15 days, he should get 5% discount. When we create the sales order, we can see this condition in the pricing procedure, but only for information. It has no impact on anything until the customer pays and only if he pays within the agreed time. So in SAP s hana we can configure the system to transfer conditions like this into predictive accounting and into margin analysis. But we can only see these details after we post the billing document. So this is the difference between the statistical sales conditions and the normal ones with predictive accounting. Remember that when we have normal sales conditions and we have predictive accounting activated, once we save the sales order, we can see these values in margin analysis. But for statistical sales conditions, when we save the sales order, they will not be transferred. They will only be transferred when we post the billing document. Now I will show you a quick demo in S4HANA 2020 on the transfer of statistical sales conditions to margin analysis when we post a billing document. I will start the process by creating a sales order. Transaction VA01. Order type is OR and insert the organizational data, then enter. The customer is AGC01 and the material is FG01 and I am selling 20 pieces. Now here we have the payment term. If I change this to 3 for example, this one means if the customer pays within 14 days, he should get 3% discount. If the customer pays within 20 days, he should get 2% discount and he shouldn't pay after 30 days. Now this means there will be no impact on our financials or on the price now. It will only have impact when the customer actually pays and then we check which time did he pay in. So if we check the conditions of this item, here we have the cash discount, SKTO. This is the standard condition in SAP that's related to the payment term. And this one is a statistical condition. You can also know this by selecting the line, then going to the condition details. And here you will see that this one is a cash discount and it has a statistical checkbox. So it is a statistical condition. The new option that's available since S4HANA 1809 is this one, account determination relevant. This is the one that allows us to transfer these data into profitability analysis. And I will explain all about this in the configuration videos. We also here have the account key, which we use to determine the GL accounts that this value will be posted to. Now go back and save the order. And let's go and check our universal journal to see the impact. I will go to SE16N, table Akadoka, and again I will insert the leading ledger and the extension ledger. So the leading is 0L. So these are the financial accounting postings, and EL is for predictive accounting postings. And my company is AG01. Fiscal year 2022, execute. These are the last entries posted in the system. And if we check here, we have the sales order number 3340. So this is the last one we posted. We have two lines. One of them is for sales revenue. The other is for customers. And we have two lines. One of them is for cost of goods sold and the other is for stock. So the predicted entry for goods issue and the predicted entry for billing. Until now, these are all predicted entries on EL and there is no posting at all for the cash discount so far. We should have a cash discount of 3% but as I told you this will only be reflected when we post the billing document. Until now there is nothing. Now let's go back to the sales order and I'm going to post a goods issue. The transaction is VL01N and this is our sales order number and the shipping point. Here we insert the storage location 171B and the picked quantity is 20. Post goods issue. Now let's go back to Universal Journal and see what we have here. SAP added four new entries, exactly as we saw in the last demo without a statistical condition. So we have one entry that reverses the predictive accounting document. So now we have a net of zero on predictive accounting. And we have two lines for the financial accounting entry of goods issue. We have a debit to the cost of goods sold and a credit to the stock account. 
Now let's go back and post the billing document. Transaction is VF01. Here we insert the outbound delivery number, enter. And we can see the details of our billing document here. If we check the conditions, we still have the cash discount of 3%, but it is still a statistical condition. There is no impact on financial accounting when we save this document. Now let's post the billing document. And if we check the financial entry, here you can see we have two accounting documents. Normally we only have one, but because we have a statistical condition that we are going to move to predictive accounting, this is what SCEP added. We have two accounting documents. We have one that's posted to all the ledgers. This is the standard financial entry, the debit to customer and the credit to sales revenue that will be reflected in our financial statements. And here we have the cash discount financial entry. It is posted only to this group that includes the extension ledger of predictive accounting. This is what we do in configuration also. Now let's open the normal financial entry, the first one. Here we have a debit to the customer for 1000, the full price without any discount. And we have a credit to the sales revenue for 1000 also. And if we go to the second financial entry, here we have a debit to the cash discount account and a credit to an accrual cash discount account. So this is an accrual account and an expense account. And the value is 30 EUR. And this will only be posted to the extension ledger used for predictive accounting. Now let's go to the Universal Journal and see the impact there. We have six new lines. So if we choose them, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have two lines that were posted for the cash discount. So 30 EUR to the expense and 30 EUR to the accrual. And we have two lines posted to the predictive accounting to reverse the sales revenue posting that was done when we saved the sales order. So this entry will reverse the one that we did here. Here it is. So this is the reversal of this one, exactly as we saw before in normal sales conditions. So these two entries will reverse each other in predictive accounting. And we have the financial entry that's posted to our normal ledger 0L to the leading ledger, which is a debit to the customer and a credit to the sales revenue. This is the end of the demo on how to transfer statistical sales conditions to profitability analysis using predictive accounting. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to check the other videos in the playlist here or the next video from here. You can also find other recommended videos up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.